Has it started recording? Yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, good evening or good day, good morning. Anyone, just good day. And happy new month and happy independence blessings to our Nigerian community members. Yeah, we celebrated our independence a couple of days back. So just a routine check. Uh, how you guys? How you guys doing? How's everybody? You could just unmute and say you're fine, or uh, express how your feelings are before we continue to the meeting proper. Okay, I think I'm going to call in. Yeah, I'm great. Okay, Gloria, are you good? Ruth, are you good? I think. Uh, are you good? Hope you guys are good. Eager. Yeah, I'm tired. I've been working all day, so so stressed. Very tired. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, I don't know if we have any newcomers in the house, but if you're a newcomer, I would love to hear your voice. You teach us how to pronounce your name and also tell us what you love doing or what you're interested in in chaos so we could point you to the right person or to the right department. Do I have any newcomer in the house? Hello, I'm a newcomer. Yeah, welcome, Rafiat. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Rafiat Ibrahim, and um, I'm an aspiring data scientist. I learned about chaos from the last SCA event, Simon Spasayo. So I joined the the data science group, I think, yeah. Thank you, Rafiat, for joining us. You're welcome. In chaos, everything is open, and we do everything together. Thank you. So is there any other newcomer in the house? I assume there's none. So I think I'll be taking updates from all the departments and then we will proceed to what they do in October, which is October 1st. And we talk about other things like the call for mentors, the Motic project and a couple of other stuff. So I will start with the developers. Yeah. I'll start with the developers focus group. I think, uh, can you tell us what's going on with the team? Okay. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the bit of background noise. I might my keep trying to pick them up. Um, all right. Uh, so we did a thing um, to help uh, maintenance on a code basis. And I'm excited about it. Um, we created the staging environment for the badging website and um, the badging API. And what that does is that when people, when contributors create um, PR, they then create a PR against the staging environment such that the maintainers are able to test the changes in the staging environment, make sure it works um, before then going to production. The way it works right now is that um, people have to like clone to their local system, try to change it, and it's um, very uh, stressful and all that. But with the staging environment, we are able to see the changes at work. So, um, so that that that's like a step in a very good direction. Then number two is the fact that uh, last week, sorry about the noise there. Um, so number two is the, the fact that we are able to uh, have a developer focus group meeting last week. And what we did differently was that we were able to scavenge for issues on the badging website, which was a very good one, you know, rather than one, person trying to find issues, we all came together and I think it was a good one. Um, I think people can also say attest to that. So we are looking at doing the same thing for the documentation needs. 
right um of the of the code bases that we have starting with the badging um project uh that's it uh what other thing yeah the third thing is that we are still working on the badging form the issue on badging forms for the badging website um the third thing is that finished but then it's still in the works so when it's done i'll let the community know thank you very much yeah, thank you very much, Odenka, for that. I don't know if there's any question for her. Uh, is there any question for the developers group? I don't think I have any question, but well done. I think I like the idea of that stage in the environment uh, to help people um, in the maintenance desktops be the PRs before deploying them. I think I love the idea so much and well done. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think I have any questions at the moment. Uh but yeah, when you say when you say you're working like for the documentation part, I know like uh, Harmony you're trying to also um update that uh, badging, the badging documentation. How how are we doing with like the technical documentation for the badging projects? So we have we have some uncertain things because there are questions that haven't been addressed properly. And I would, we, I spoke to Adenka, we have to think for uh, issues that have to do with those things and then we'll be able to get like a permanent fix to it. Okay. Yeah. So I think, uh, let me see who I can say. Yeah. For project managers, focus group. Uh, Yiga, would you be able to take it, or is there somebody else that's willing to tell us what's happening and what's going on? Um, thank you, Harmony. I think I'm the only one here for now, so I could just take it. Um, so for the project managers, we had a meeting within the week, and um, we came up with this. Um, Sorry, one second. Let me pull out the document. I I just felt like there's some ways that we can project managers can handle the whole contribution phase better, right? By creating um, project boards, especially for teams that are contributing or that are participating in October first. And let me just quickly share the link. I'm sorry for the noise in my background. The children playing. Uh, okay, thank you, Fab. So yes, the most important thing is we need to create project boards. We need to have a particular flow, right? A particular flow that helps with the projects. And one of the things that there were just a lot of ideas that came up. Um, and I think that one of the things that struck or that stuck with me is I think that as a group, we should look at it in phases, right? Because there's the beginning phase, which is where we are. There's the midpoint and, you know, after the project. So it has to be in phases for us to take learning points, to know what we're doing, to celebrate the contributors and all of that. So basically we have tasks to complete. Um, I'm still waiting on, um, would I say maintainers? Yes, we're still waiting on the maintainers to, to let us know where we can come in, right? And then this is like an open call to say that we need more project managers as well, so that um, just in case we get the influx that we're expecting from October 1st, we'll be able to handle it as well and help other teams to like do the right things. And then I think another thing that I felt like would be a good thing for us to do is do like October first events, like virtual events. So issue sprints, stuff like that, just to keep people going, right? But it's all in the document, so we can all take a look at it. Do you know if there's any questions or suggestions? Oh yeah, that sounds nice. I think I like the 
yeah. Super first event to keep people going. I know um uh, how much is planning one already uh, for documentation, but I think generally because um I know last year the way we engaged Hackathon first was we we did like Twitter spaces last year. We, I really wish we can bring back those Twitter spaces we used to do because it was really educational. And if we could even do at least maybe one, um, maybe that, that can also help with engaging both like our public audience and um, our um, community members. I think I have an idea of it. Twitter space topic that has been brewing in my mind. So anybody would want to host that. But I, I, I agree, yeah, like organizing events at least to keep people going would be good. Yeah, I also I also like the idea of the project boards that I think the project boards we have we did something for Guinamara Lab and it helps to streamline issues streamline issues that close and stuff like that that needs to be worked on. So I think I like the idea of the project box for all the projects going on in chaos. I also like um, the fact that we have a lot of things going on for October 1st, especially for people that are aspiring project managers and people that want to test their, their, their skill sets in open source in general. Yeah, thank you very much, Yiga and Tim. It's actually a great one. Yeah, you can go on, you go. Yeah, so I wanted to say something as well. So in the spirit of getting, you know, new people and fresh members, I was thinking if we could also have, so there are people that do like, how do I call it now? Like, you know how we have code camps and places where the people take lessons to come into tech, right? If we can have a collaboration with those communities as well, I'm just thinking that, you know, it would be nice amongst ourselves if we know those communities, we can just reach out to them. And because we need specific people in our various communities, right? It'll just be like in our various, what do I say? <laughs> in our various teams, it'll be nice. So for example, technical writing, um, documentation. <laughs> Oh my God, technical writing, project management. I'm usually not like this, I don't know what's going on. But technical writing, project management, you know, people that code and all of that. So it would be a great idea to collaborate with all these people I just thought to add. Actually, it's, a, it's actually a good suggestion. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Iga. It's going to help because a lot of questions keeps popping up with what people can do and how they will be able to do them, right? And I think I also want to also bring into light the work that Peculiar is doing with the educational project. It's also a way to also tilt people to those direction. They are actually little short courses or crash courses that people can just look into and get one or two about not just the chaos projects but also the focus group thank you very much Higa. i don't know if there's any questions from anybody or any suggestions regarding these affairs i think we don't have that is anybody from accessibility and disability group here okay victoria is there okay, do you have anything for us Hi, Victoria. Don't know if she's a, is there a person from the focus group that I would want to give? Hi, sorry, I had to. Can you hear okay. me? I had yes. to step out so that. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, we we're not able to join the community call, I think, yesterday, but we do have a few feedback as to how we want to contribute to October 1st. Um, I already reached out to Oluchi, would love to be in one of the episodes or sessions for the Twitter spaces for the upcoming October Fest. This will help us create more awareness for the work we are doing in our working group, right? And secondly, um, Yiga and myself will be meeting to specifically select the accessibility implementations that are just design related, that don't have anything to do with code. 
given that the design, the develop, the code implementation has to be done by the team, right? So work on the design implementations and look for a way to make them repos for the um October first. Would we we'll still have to meet for that? That's to then for the auditing. We are still going to. We think it's a great idea to create a repo for more um call for testers or auditors to come and do more um auditing on the work and most importantly using the feedback that we've gotten from the research the emails of the attendees for the concluded event we'll be sending them a broadcast email for them to create first issues through their use of their through their use of the website so they're going to be um helping us create accessibility issues from their point of view and from the issues we'll be able to know more what work is needed what specific work is needed to add to the accessibility auditing and testing and implementation as well i said a lot of things i don't know if i don't know if you heard me or that makes sense but yeah i think that's it for now uh, i actually makes sense i just have one question what event are you talking about Okay, they just included disability yeah. event that we had in June. So we did a feed um, a feedback and research work that Lamy headed and we have a few of their emails. So the whole point of getting the email was to be able to get back to them again and work with them. And I feel like this October this October fest is the best opportunity to have them um be part of open source contribution. Okay. So that's so the want, point. We want to use this opportunity to invite people with disabilities to actually join the October Fest and open source contribution case. Okay, thank you very much for even bringing that up, though. But then I wanted to ask: Is there any update for the uh, the outreach in Canon? The the outreach. Is there any update? Oh my God! See, not seen. I do not hear anything. And I think my bad because I think I was supposed to reach out to Hamza. The last time we spoke was on the 23rd, and I did not get any reminder. So I totally forgot to the 29th, which was when we had our meeting. Right. So we've not gotten feedback from him yet because he was not um he was not in the meeting either. So I'll probably just reach out and ask him how he went. Okay, so we should expect yeah. feedback from the team and so, right? Yeah, so like, I also sent like swags. I'm not even sure if he has received. That. I know they were trying to the last time because only she was the one that processed sending those swags. Um, and the the time they they wanted to deliver it, it wasn't his number was switched off or so. So I haven't even checked back with OG if he eventually got it. But yes, yeah, so please uh there if you can follow up with him to be sure of if they did the event and if he received the swags as well. Okay, no problem. After the call, I'll just send him a message on Stack and see the feedback he has for us. Okay, thank you very much, Victoria. Thank you so much for the work you guys are doing there for the accessibility group. I is anyone from research and yeah, research the data and research team. Is there anybody from the focus group that would want to give us some updates? Um hi, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, so I, th I think I'm the only one here for the research group. I don't know. Do you have updates? Do you be able to share a couple of stuff that you guys yes. have been working Yes, I'll, I'll be able to share the updates. Okay, thank you very much. Please go on. Okay. Um, come, so we, we, we won't have like a meeting today. And yeah, part of what we worked on. Yeah, we're trying to give um to reach out to some 
maintenance on some particular projects. We are trying to get um the um feedback. Once send them a survey and ask them about the feedback concerning some of the projects they are they um contributed or maintained to as well. I can't hear you. Right? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Yes. So part of the project of this was um the DEI of the feedback. Yes, but yes, DEI of the feedback and um the new templates. We are trying to create like a new templates for users who are trying to come into the um research group as well. Okay, is there another thing? And um yes, the I'm trying to review and update the onboarding document. I yes, I think that I said that. Yes, mm -hmm. basically review and update onboarding documents, um preparation for the GitHub copilot um projects. Okay. That is that is coming up. Yeah, uh, I think that basically sums it up. Okay. Thank you very much. I Trying to say, what I shall come pronounce your name, Adi. Thank you very much, Adi. Yeah, I would give updates on the uh, the technical documentation team. We are currently uh, one of so far. It's been one month trying to revive the community. Okay, Tosan, please you want to say something. It was saying us, Tosan. Um, hi everyone. Sorry, the yeah. network just me out when you mentioned research for okay. um for thank you for giving updates on our focus group we he he actually just joined us today so i'm happy that we are able to have that update just to add to what he said um we are still gaining stability with our focus group at least we've had two constant meetings so far and we had a meeting today and um, we are working on changing the time for our meeting. And after we conclude on that, we can add it to the Chaos Community Weekly Call. Then for the two updates he gave for the, um, the survey is a part of the issue and template project that we've had open for a while, although it was on hold because of um, inconsistencies, but we picked it back up today. And implementing some suggestions we had from, I think the general call about four weeks back, on how we how best we can go about data collection. We are reviewing our project documents to change the previous approach to something more scalable. So the survey he mentioned is we are we are issuing those service to developers or maintainers or contributors, sorry, that has used that template and based on their responses, we can compile a report regarding the effectiveness of the template. Then um the, the working on template, that's actually our onboarding doc because we are editing it to make it a little bit more comprehensive so that um, when we put it out on the general channel, people can find it easier to, um, to get an idea of what we are currently doing. And we also, we're also contemplating adding data analysis to our community name. So people know that always oh, beyond just research, we, you can also come in here, to contribute and develop your data analytics. Thank you. Yeah, somebody raised their hand. Thank you very much, Tosan. Sophia, do you want to say something? Oh, no. Um, I was going to add what she, the last stuff she spoke about. So she already mentioned it. So that's it. Okay, thank you very much. So I, I think adding data analysis to you guys, it's actually good because you guys play with a lot of data from collection to analysis and a lot of things you guys play with data a lot. And so that it also helps to get data analysis people, people that function in this role to also come into the team and help in analyzing, right? And also uh, grouping data and stuff like that. Thank you very much for the good work. 
Yeah, I have a question, Tosan. So, um, does I don't know if um you are you guys are still working on the the project to kind of show the impact of the contributions we've had in chaos. I don't know if you have appreciated that. That is it the the issue and templates, uh, sorry the issue and PR template project. Yeah, I know we had given some feedback of like just kind of like re channeling that to looking at how the impact of the contribution so far with um Grimola. Maybe I might need to join the meeting one of these days to just show you how because I I think that's something that we might. A potential thing that we would want to look at by let's let's say like at the end of the year, just really doing a document that just shows how how the contributions we've had, like from the Chaos Africa community into mm -hmm. the bigger chaos projects. It's it'd be good to just see that. Um, because I know a lot of the contrib a lot of contributions have been coming from Chaos Africa. Um might be good to show that and might also even help for our social media stuff. I know we do this uh end of the year thing. So maybe if I have some time next week, I will join the meeting and um you can drop me a message or we can just even talk about it and I show you maybe how to do it. And that we okay. want projects to do. Okay. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ruth. And just, okay, thank you very much, Ruth. So for the technical writers and documentation focus group, so far, reviving the group has been very blissful. We have had a lot of stability in meeting attendance. There have been increase in people's interests and also new people that want to get into documentation and stuff like that. So we have some issues that we would address using the program that we are organizing for Hacktober Fries called the Doc Scavenger. In one line, Doc Scavenger like is the process of scouting for scavenging issues within projects and fixing those issues. So we go to scout for issues, scout for problems or improvement, and then we implement it by creating issue. So we have already started the process of getting like a program line up college roadmap. So we'll be having a two days virtual workshop where we would be able to teach people the basic things in documentation. We have programs like how to get started in um, how to get started as a newbie, like creating GitHub account to have people that would talk on topics on that. We also have, uh, we have reached out to people that would also discuss things on what to look out for while you're creating a document. And we also have plans to create a resource bank for the focus group. We noticed that even me, myself, sometimes would want to do something or improve a document, but we don't have a resource bank that we could always reach out to or go through and get a couple of stuff. So by our itinerary and announcement, we hope to announce the date and our plans for the Doc Scavenger to introduce it to the public as a plan for October 1st on Monday. And we also plan to host the two-day workshop by weekend, Saturday, I think on the 12th and on the 13th, Saturday and Sunday. We are looking at evening at a max of an hour to 30, one hour, 30 minutes. We already have speaker lineups already. We have um, Busaya will be handling uh, what to look out for in documents. Gloria will be handling the practical ex example of uh, figuring out where to get Hacktober first issues and stuff like that. So we have a lot of things piled up and we would need your support. Our speakers are Busayo, Gloria, Sophia and Gifts. But well, we are still looking for a speaker that will talk about a bit of chaos in the first day. And yes, we have a lot of things fully packed and you don't have to be into documents to join the program because learning is something that we all can do, right? So yeah, basically that's what we're doing for October 1st. And yes, we have a 14-day sprint after the two-hour workshop. So in the 14-day sprint, 
we suggest that people take like an hour in their day to do something that has to do with documentation. It probably would include fixing documents, writing an article and a couple of stuff. We noticed that the features in the project that we're working on and the functions in the project that we're working on in chaos does not have more visibility to the public. People don't know about these features. So we added technical article writing to it so that we want people to come in and write about either the badges of the badging project or stuff in the Argo tool or the Glimmer tool. So yes, we have a lot packed up and we can't wait to share it to the public while we deliberate on them. But hopefully on Monday we'll make the first announcement. Yeah, that's all. I don't know if there's any questions from anybody or any suggestions from anybody. Yeah, All well right. done. Um, I really like how, um, you know, it's even though like the group, like trying to revive the group and you've done a lot of work, it's making it very active. Um, I was just going to say like for the for the workshop, please you can reach out to, um, to what they call it, to the designers to create like a a flyer let's you know have a way that people can maybe we can do like a, just a simple so that people other people is, is it going to just be for the community or um for like also other people like audience that are not in the community who, who are we targeting so that we know if they're doing a form or not so we have already submitted requests for designs to Kinsley. Yeah, and we are looking beyond the technical writers because we need more people in the technical writers. And so one of the objective of pushing it out there is also to get people into open source in general. So in our section, in, this, in the two day section workshop we're having, we have a section where we talk about chaos and the things you can do in chaos. So it's beyond just documentation. So we use it as a program to drag people in and at the closure, because we have 29 scheduled for like a Zoom party. We have a section in the Zoom party where we talk about the various things that we do in chaos and people and also line up onboarding experience to their interests or their skill sets, whatever they want to do beyond just document. Okay. That's all. That sounds good. Then we should. Um, I think we can communicate to you to post it out and just um encourage people to join. Um. Yeah, there's a potential. I don't know when it's going to be, but um, I don't know if we want to do this topic as a Twitter space. But there's a topic that I think I've been thinking about around how to build trust in open source communities. So that's something I don't know how if it fits into your workshop or maybe as a Twitter space, but yeah, just put them out there. Yes, Rafael Ibrahim, please. Can I ask a question or oh, say what you want to say? Oh, okay, so I I had someone talk about like looking for communities that we have to join chaos and like I'm part of the community where I know like they would really really love to be part of the community. So I don't know what the person is like I reach out to uh to discuss more. So I actually didn't get it clearly, but just to rephrase, you have somebody that wants to join the chaos community and they need somebody that'll show them around. Is that what you said? No, I said like I'm part of a community where I know like they would love to join. So when I heard someone talking about like if you want like communities to discuss with to join here or something like that. Okay, okay, yeah. Thank you very much. We would definitely reach out. Yeah. For there's somebody else that his hand was up. I did are they please yeah yes i raised up my hand um so um for the workshop 
can people from like other communities join like uh, and need like be like a partnership or something from other like another whole community or on itself um concerning this open so um October first since it's trying to like bring in more contributions to the project. I don't know, Ruth, do you want to take that? Sorry, what was the question? If people from other communities can join and what else again? The workshop. Yeah, in terms of Yeah, I think that was like in terms of partnership or like participating, like just listening in. But you see what you're asking, like just listening. Yes, no, like in terms of like partnership. So yeah, Sublian is um is even I was even is even where like so like um Sublian community. So they they want to like um bring in new people who are like currently having like their open open source internship. So they are trying to like make them join new um projects that are on board. So when I saw like this workshop, so I was asking like if they can like all come in as well, or is, is there any way with that it can be possible? Oh, oh, I see. I think, yeah, we already had already reached out about like mentors if we are interested in partnering with them to get mentors. And like we kind of diverted to be like, okay, we would reach out to our community members and if they're interested in mentoring their. Right. So if they're interested in if they have speakers, like people that fit into what Harmony is looking for, I know I don't know if you're done with um putting together the speakers. Or but if we can definitely our community can definitely like to listen in anybody, I think anybody should be able to join because we want um we want it to educate small people so people can join but if you're talking about in terms of speakers if harmony is still looking for more speakers um then okay Adi, so we basically we are just we are open for partnerships as much as it links with what we're working on and also we are also open for community partnership people that would want the workshop to be promoted in their communities and also get their community members to learn about the project and have to perfect and have things to do. So yes, we are open. Okay, um so should I like reach out to you for more um updates about that? Yes, you can. My name is Harmony on Slack. All right then. Thank you very much. So I, I actually don't know if I skip other fo focus group, but if you're here, I represent your focus group and we haven't, I haven't said anything. Yeah, Sophia, please. I have a question, but I don't know if the question is um, off the uh, agenda for today, but I was, does um, KIOS have like an ambassadorship program? I know we have something. Yes. Okay. We do. It's called um I think my blessing was here and she's no longer here, but it's uh oh what is it called again? Hmm. Yes, we have an ambassadorship program and I think it's currently building up with a little bit. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but I would uh direct you to reach out to my blessing. But yes, we have something like that. I'm trying to remember. Is it the tour guide? Tour guide is more so handholding people or helping people out. But like, there's something. There's definitely something. But if, if you could reach out to me, my blessing. Um, or Yiga, do you know anything about that? Yiga, I don't think she heard you. Yiga, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah, um, so I think that it's called the top right, right? That's what I think it is, because I know that it's kind of like a closed group where we're just kind of guiding people, but I don't know about the larger framework of what she's working on with Elizabeth. But I think it's definitely like tall guides. I also think I've seen something around 
something has to do with university in a meeting, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I think Sophia, you can reach out can to me. me. Can anybody hear me? Yes, we heard you. Yeah, we heard you. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Reach out to me, bless and um, wow. Yeah. So I, I, I can see Kinsley. Kinsley, I don't know if you want to tell us what's going on with the designers focus group. Hello, Hi. Yes. Hi, Kinsley. Hi, everyone. Um, so at the moment, I feel um, we just have a lot around, like, I think prepping for our Toba Fest and um, also helping all that because I feel so much every other group has to communicate, right? So trying to fix that. And um, I think I made a tweet today. I was really hoping that I will be helpful in getting uh, more graphic uh, designers to join the team, right? Because um, at the moment, we really have a short supply of graphic designers, right? So I'm just putting out the gear, right? So we be well, care and we are friends with someone that does graphic designs, right? We really need a lot uh, around that and also building even beyond um, how to buffer a couple of other assets. So I'm also hoping that through this October first period, we could also use that to get more people to join us as graphic designers. I, I think we just have a couple of product designers and other design stacks in their house. We need more graphic designers now. So I don't have so much to share right now. Yeah, thank you so much, Harmony. Um, okay, very part of this course. Okay, Dan. Um, okay, lastly, so I think I'm um, sorry to interrupt you, Ruth. I, I, I'm also working with Busaya. Uh, Busaya and I have been in communication, so also trying to also clean and flesh out some of the issues, um, these outstanding design issues that need to be tended to on, on uh, uh, Chaos Africa uh, repository. So I'm working uh, with Busaya on that. Okay, thank you very much. Great work, Kinsley and team. You guys are really doing an amazing job. Would you want to say something? Like yeah, to I was just talk. asking, like, when he said needing of graphic designers, I was asking if, like, he is part of creative discourse. I think we have a very good community for Yeah, 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 I think. Um... So maybe you can post it there. Okay. Oh, we can just get a flyer that would pull for like call for design contributors and then we'll promote it to social media, right? Um that, that might give you much more people. <laughs> flyer. Okay, it's fine, no problem. I'm just kinda like open to any options, right? But then again, if you also reach out to someone, please also just probably just add it that uh, chaos isn't paying anyone at the moment right now. So okay. um so it's also very important. I'm just saying this because I just got a payment request. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ken Slee. I don't know if somebody's here to talk about the AFOS project. I know we have a lot going on with the AFOS project, but if anybody can give us an update, it would be nice. Okay, I guess it's nobody here. So I would use this opportunity to tell all the focus group leaders that if they have anything going on for the October first plans, they can reach out to Busayo so that she would help document document stuff into into this into the GitHub repo and also provide issues that October first worthy inside this repo for contributors to have something to contribute to. Then for all of us, it's also going to be nice to check it out. So see something that you could help a friend or you could guide a friend to do. It's actually a pleasant thing to be part of somebody's first open source contribution. It's an experience that would never go out from their mouth and your name would always be there. 
So I'm also going to use this opportunity to call for mentorship or internship program. We have mentors. Uh, two band group is looking for mentors for their internship projects. I looked it up and they need people that will be able to guide developers and other advocates to help do things in open source. This is the form and it's a pleasure if you just go there and fill something up if you're interested. We had a partnership with the Motec project and they have something brewing up for October 1st. And it's going to be nice to sign up with this link and then check it, check their GitHub repo. They have a lot of things there that you can do regardless of your field or your skill set. Also something that you want to try out. So if you're trying to be a developer and you need something to work on to boost your experience, this is also a place that you can do that. Then shout out to various episodes that we are I've been having in the series called 20 Minutes with Chaos Africa, where we hear and share various open source experiences, especially the one that deals with chaos. Another episode is live, and I was happy to host Gloria, Mary Blessing, and Precious. I love the work that they do, and it was actually blissful to speak to somebody that's also a badger and also see that they were able to align their experiences in other open source projects and do great work in chaos and just to spill one of the tea that you would listen to i think precious heard about chaos from mary blessing or the work that mary blessing does and gloria was also part of an african project and she's also a badger so if you want to be a badger in the badging project you can reach out to gloria adenka or anybody it's not like a big work you just help us push the things that we're doing for DEI in events and projects within the open source ecosystem. And it's good for your CV. I also want to shout out to Brian for representing Chaos Africa for community partnership in Python, Uganda. Thank you so much, Brian. This means a lot to the community in general. So I don't know if there's any questions for anybody, if there's any suggestions before it would see you today. Yeah. The other thing is um, for people that like, um, thank you, Harmony, for participating in it. As you can see, we're trying to um, repeat the facilitation, and um, a lot of the people that have been leading the meetings have been like the focus group leader. So if you're interested in facilitating, please reach out to any of us. And thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. I hope we all do a lot of things during this period and more to come. And October first is the best period to try out something new. You're you're trying to be a technical writer. You're trying to be a developer. This is the best time to try out something new, or reach out to somebody to help you do your first issue. It's good. Thank you very much for joining today's meeting. Hope to see you again in two weeks' time and hope to see your contributions in our repository. Thank you, everyone. I would love to mention you guys' name, but I'm not going with names. So it's a pleasure. At least I actually forget. We have a lot of issues in the educational project. So please do well to visit the repo and pick a topic you can write the script on, record a video, prepare a slide or something. It's going to be good teaching somebody that you don't know, but the person knows your face. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye and blessings on blessings. Bye. Bye.